The Trump administration is facing criticism tonight for dispatching federal agents in camouflage and unmarked cars to Portland, Oregon. He says he is protecting the country. Critics say the president's using brute force to silence protesters. And tonight he's expanding that order and sending federal teams to Chicago and Albuquerque. Now, many mayors in those states disapprove of the move. And even though we don't have federal troops being sent to Colorado, Denver's mayor and Governor Polis are already fighting the plan. Denver 7's Gary Bro joins us live with more on this. Gary. And all is quiet here at the Capitol right now, but certainly in the last couple of months, we've seen things get out of hand. Many local and state politicians are against bringing those law enforcement officers in from the federal level, worrying it's only going to add more fuel to the fire. This bloodshed must end. This bloodshed will end. President Trump announcing he will be sending federal officers into U.S. cities. In the meantime, we will use federal law enforcement to vigorously charge federal crimes and support these besieged communities to the greatest extent possible. The move not sitting well with some living in Denver. I think that's excessive use of force. The less federal intervention we have in the state is for the best. Cities like Portland and Chicago are at the top of the president's list, but he promises to intervene in several cities nationwide. In response, mayors from major cities around the country, including Denver's Mayor Michael Hancock, sent a letter to the Attorney General and Acting Secretary of Homeland Security, urging them to remove those federal officers and troops immediately. I have no indication whatsoever that there's a... Uh, uh, a, a federal presence. On Tuesday, Governor Polis says while he's not aware of United States law enforcement in the state, he is paying attention to cities like Portland. Yes, I have that concern that this is a violation of people's rights, and I don't think we've seen the accountability and transparency. If you want to bring them in again, OK, but they need to have a specific mission. Retired Aurora Police Chief Nick Metz says while the federal and local collaboration has worked in the past, it can have its challenges. It's the local authorities and local cops who could potentially get blamed by mistake. And then the federal troops can just walk out and leave after they're done. And now it's the locals who now have to try to clean up everything. As the Capitol here in Denver remains covered in graffiti, Metz says when he was on the force in Seattle, at times federal law enforcement had only one job. You know, downtown Seattle has a great deal of, of federal buildings. It was understood because we had all been working together that the uh, federal law enforcement was going to be responsible for protecting that property. In Portland, troops have been seen leaving in unmarked vans, behaving violently leaving the public to question their credentials. In many ways, it's an expectation of the community that they be able to readily identify an officer. In Denver, Gary Brode, Denver 7.